Uh, we got 8th Street, uh, Senate 25. Nick, I'd send you the listing for the house next door to me, but the deadbeat out-of-state doctor landlords keep playing games and listing and unlisting. Last tenants got raided by the DEA. House stinks like B.O. now. Yeah. Um, I've had a similar thing that you're talking about on a property that I looked at. When a house stinks to the, the, the town... And you don't have a ton of money, and you're not like a hero coming and like take it off their books. <clears throat> There's a. I think it sucks. I think that whole thing sucks, but I had to walk away from it. It's just like, it's like, it's like having a good conversation with a girl in the beginning of the night at a bar, and then later on in the, at the night she's in a fist fight, like a hard fist fight with a bloody nose and a black eye, and you're trying to like rekindle the uh, the talk. And you're like, hey, you really like uh, Modest Mouse? And she's like, hold on, I just gotta go get in a fist fight. Like, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't like fucking with, uh, with t uh, death, drug, infractions, town like those those properties that are cancers. The town, like, they're just like uh, it's a nightmare. So you have to have a ton of money. So you really, really gotta want the property to be able to go in and basically scoop it up and. Scoop this uh, beast, Captain Save a Ho, with a house. Uh, from uh, Zilu S, need advice. Neighbor got a loud uh, Z Z06 and can't stand it. Bought the wind, bought new windows, dual pane, laminated, but long le lead time. Looking for other ideas to reduce noise. Landscaping. Yeah, landscaping. Think, uh, yeah. Thinking about a large row of uh, a uh, bore. Abravides. Yeah, Abravides. To reduce, yeah, in the, yeah. Oh, you're in the northeast. Use uh, white pines, southern white pines. Uh, a fence. Go over to the guy and be like, "Dude, your car's loud as shit." You know this. You've seen the TikTok videos. You like to wake your neighbors up with your loud exhaust. Good for you. How long are you gonna live here for? Are you gonna live with your parents forever? No. Find out a plan. If he says he's gonna move out in six months, don't put a fence up. If he doesn't, and he's gonna live there forever, a fence, six by sixes, five, one by six, five quarter board, pressure treated, rough cut. Parallel, what do they call this? Horizontal plank fence, white pines on the inside of the fence, or arborvitaes, a fence, and then white pines, but that's going to reduce the noise as much as possible, but that's how you got to do that. If you're doing the windows, you're all the way in. I mean, you can do, you don't need to cut your walls. I mean, landscape is going to help you the most. Uh, we got terrestrial access network setting 25. Brother and I are debating... Uh, turning into a rental or sell we have put a lot of effort into it thoughts on durham which is north carolina durham north carolina yeah turning it into a rental or sell we put a lot of don't don't sell it eric hayden his brother bought a house mm -hmm. love eric hayden his brother nick great guys yeah worked their ass off they bought a hell of a rental house uh -huh. and they sold it they made money on it uh -huh. but they made like it was like fast money and yeah. it hurt my feelings. I was like, oh, what a good rental it was. They should have rented it. And now, in hindsight, mm -hmm. if you can keep them all, keep them all. Don't let the cash flow thing blind. I, told, I, I said this a couple days <clears> ago. <throat> Don't let the cash flow thing blind you out of the investment as a whole. Real estate should be a long term thing. Think about it for like, you know, with or without it. You know, um, yeah, I'd like the money now, but like, you know, would 60 grand really make you and your brother that much better? Or would the 30 grand profit or the 100 or the 8 as opposed to a long term hold and keep, a leverage point, a tax loss? Uh, you know, all these, all these advantages that you have from owning a couple of pieces of real estate. If you genuinely hate it, roll it. If you genuinely hate renting it or Airbnb it, roll the place, get rid of it. It's just not your bag. I'm a guy who hated running airbnbs and in hindsight i should have kept them i should have kept the two that i had i needed the money i i did okay with it but in hindsight if i could have gone back and kept the piece of property that i had all day long so um where, where was it southbridge it, southbridge mass oh okay yeah 106 collab look at the emerson i sold it i made i made a hundred and forty on it early er, early but and now I would have made uh, 250 on it or something, you know, and, and I would have loved owning it. And it was really cool. And I should have just put up with the 
of Airbnb and finding a better cleaning lady and yeah. learn how to learn how to deal with middle management better. So for any of you guys who are like, ah, should I keep it? Should I hold it? If you, if you keep the thing, um, I feel like you're going to end up better than I, you know, I'm just being straight with you. I don't, it's, it's your call, but you really have to assess yourself. You know, I, I didn't have the patience for it at the time. Cut to a few years later. I do, you know, I'm 38 now. I'm like, Oh, I, I could have, I could have kept it. And I would have had a nice investment that I owed like 112 on and it was worth, uh, I don't know, 400 or something, you know, some thing, but. So any of you guys who have a couple of pieces of property, maybe something you inherited or something like that, I got to err on the side of holding it and just basically basing your temperament on what you're, uh, just the truth, just being straight with you. Uh, we get a car with a 20. Nick just took a, just took a look at a small rental house in Denver for 80, uh, 1800 a month. Uh, good lawn in the a garage that's big enough to work in. I make around 2000 every two weeks with a VA pension of 1700 a month that's tax free. So he's looking at a small rental house in Denver for 1800 a month. Uh, he says he makes four grand a month. Good lawn, big enough to work in. I make around two grand. Tax free. So you're living long. Yeah, go for it. You, it sounds like you like the house. You're in a good situation. You got a little money. Sit. Be a good tenant. It's okay to be a good tenant. At 1850, you don't have to, you didn't buy the you know, you don't have to pay for all that. Shit. In fact, you might get a, a a break on the the rent. And we got Rent's not that bad, guys. You, you really just take what you what I've said here in this book, right? And the house, if the houses are mad money and people are just looking to dock money, if you're just like working for a rich guy and being a dream tenant, you're like, "Hey, how much are you going to pay to to landscape this place?" For all those who are looking, how much are you paying to landscape this place? Oh, I'm going to pay 240 a month. But you're renting it for eighteen hundred. So you're saying if I could do uh, fifteen hundred a month and I cut the grass and I make it perfect, is that a real thing? But you provide me the lawnmower and shit, I'm really good at it. Sounds like a good deal to me. Right? Yeah. And these people are just looking to protect their investment. Sometimes you can flip the script. I I, I hope that some of you, because it teaches, and then it'll teach you like what you'd like and don't like out of a house. I mean, it's just it's reality of it. I'm sorry. Um, Two eighty eight, Pleasant Drive, Minto, New Brunswick. Mint, Minto, New Brunswick, 39 grand. New Brunswick, Canada, 39.9. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Is there water? How's the well? How's the septic? It's probably got a cesspool. Main, what happens to your sh? Number one question on a thirty-nine nine nine condo, I mean uh, unit. You have a small lot. You've got a structure on it. You've got all the freebies on this thing. It would cost me forty-two thousand dollars to build an A-frame. A piece of land is twenty thousand. I'm uh, cheap if I steal it and I rob it. Think about it. So you already have an A-frame. You can rip the roof off this thing. You can totally restructure. But what happens to your sh any semblance of a functioning septic tank where you can flush a piece of down the toilet at this piece of property please buy it please how's the well water and septic is your number one look at this that's these little con these are these are dope because you can rip the roof off this thing you can reef this thing you can you can fix what's there in a weekend with some friends if you're smart me and chris could do this in a week yep um seriously um i like this kind of stuff all cash buy um anything in place anything please give me one of them give me Make sure my electrical is okay. Make sure my plumbing, like what's my plumbing situation looking like? What's going on? Do you have an above board? Is it a septic tank? Is it a cesspool? You're gonna allow me to build this thing and if you can, buy it. Uh